Hello everybody, welcome to a sheepish look at Super Impossible Road. My name is Genna and today we're playing an awesome racing game. <laughs> look at this. We are colorful balls going down the colorful road. Man, this game is so, um, I never really played any racing game which focuses on having to cheat. So as you can see, you've got a track here which you need to follow down and uh, as I pass through these blue gates, you get boosters which you can see in the top left corner is increasing over there. And uh, I can hold the button to just uh, boost, but I can also completely jump off of the track and get a shortcut. So I'm going to try to do that now for you here. Let's see, I'm second now, let's see if this gets me to first place. Yeah! Oh, oh that was a kind of dangerous jump, but yeah, you get the idea. Look at that track, it's so long! And uh, you can just jump off like that and try to take shortcuts. And now you might be asking, what stops you from just skipping the entire track? Uh, as you can see, it starts to slowly fade to, fade to black, and uh, you have a, basically a certain amount of time before you have to actually touch the track again or else you'll uh, respawn. And you'll respawn by the way at the last warp uh, boost thing you gained. So they count as checkpoints and they also increase your boost. Um, it, it's so cool, but you also have the option to re respawn anytime you want in case you see that, alright, I don't want to waste more time, I know that I'm not going to be able to reach the land uh, in time. This is a very hard game to commentate by the way while playing. Ooh! Okay, I'm absolutely screwed, so I'm going to respawn here as you can see. And uh, by the way, this game does have a few game modes. Uh, I will be playing uh, multiplayer with someone very soon as well. Uh, this is currently the early access version of the game, by the way. I'm not entirely sure why... Uh, I, I understand that with a multiplayer game you need a lot of player feedback to kind of shape it for the future. That makes sense to me, the early access uh, side of it. But there's a lot of stuff that's kind of missing, like for example right now, uh, there's no online multiplayer. Probably by the time most of you watch this video there will be, so uh, do check the store page before actually Damn it! I got second! No, I didn't even get second. I'm gonna fail miserably. Uh, do check the store page before you uh, just kind of take my final word on it, if you know what I'm trying to say. Alright, come on! Okay, I'm third. Yep, it's final. Look at these guys just chilling like, yeah, whatever, man, we beat you. Anyway, let's try local race. So you can see here right now there are two maps to choose from. Keres was the one we just did. It's uh, the orange neon one and Athos is the blue one. I kind of have a few optimization problems with this one. I like, get a lot of frame rate drops. You can change the complexity so that means like the amount of turns, the amount of... I don't know if you noticed the roads actually get a bit thin sometimes. You've got track length. Short is pretty good for me. And let's go with intermediate difficulty. Alright, let's try this out. Hello Simi, enter the arena. Hello. So uh, you can change your color, I know I'll let you be blue because I know you want to be blue. But actually this map it's kind of hard to see your ball if it's blue. Oh, really? Yeah, because it's completely white and blue. By the way, I should have mentioned this is a uh, sequel kind of in the sense uh, for um, an old mobile game. I think it was called Impossible Road or something like that. And uh, it looked much more simplistic, this looks much better, it's very cool. Anyway, is that your color Simi? Yes. By the way, you see it says press A to join. Even if you're using keyboard controls, it will still say press A to join, and you don't use A for that, so it's referring to the Xbox controller. So yeah, that stuff like that needs a bit fixing, but whatever, it's not such a big deal. Anyway, let's get to it! Yeah! By the way, this music is pretty cool. Alright, so, uh, I'm not sure if I'll be getting a frame rate drop, maybe split screen is a bit better? It seems to be, somehow. <laughs> maybe the screen is smaller to render, but it's to render twice, so I'm not really sure how that works. Oh man, this is intense. I can- this goes up to four players, by the way. I really want to try that one day. That sounds... Awesomely intense. Oh man, do you see what I'm doing? <laughs> you're taking a very you're you're cheating, oh, Simi. I was first and now I'm sixth. Well now I'm first, so uh <laughs> I stole that from you. By the way, I love this little effect when someone goes through a booster gate, it'll like send their color as a pulse kind of throughout the entire road. Oh, yeah, for everyone to see that. It's so cool. The game looks really stylized and just awesome. Uh, I really love it. And I love that your balls, by the way, not cars. Um, by the way, I mentioned this is early access and they will be adding more game modes and stuff, but I read somewhere on the early access page, from my understanding, they're going to be adding... Uh, you can choose different vehicles, if you want to call these guys, whatever, vehicles, balls, whatever, and uh, they might handle a bit differently. I'm not sure how I feel about that, honestly. I kind of like that everyone is the same and it relies on just your skill. Possibly you'll be able to turn it off. Maybe you can just all choose the same character or whatever. I don't really know how it works. Maybe it's going to be very subtle. Um, but yeah, I think as long as you have the option to not do that, then that'll be okay. I would also love a game mode. Um, I, I honestly, like, I really like the whole skipping thing, the way it works. Uh, but I also do really love, because of how crazy the, the track is, I would love a mode which kind of forces you more, or rewards you more for staying on the track completely with multiple people. Because there are modes like, for example, the Time Gate one, where you want to constantly be on the track uh, to increase your time. Um, but yeah, there's no multiplayer there, so I would love like a narrow track where you're kind of all 
trying to push each other off the track. It would be very nice. I don't know. Maybe there's a one second timer where you where you fly off the track, and it's like more lenient. I, I don't honestly don't know how that would work, and uh, it's not necessary. Obviously. Oh my God, Simi, you are far. I was first so many times, and then I just that's the beauty. Over. That's the beauty of this game. Because I skipped so much that I skipped all the checkpoints. Oh, good job, man. You are jumping from way too far. Before we recorded, Simi got first though, so I'll try to like save your credit a bit there. Yeah, like my first time. Okay, now you're doing awful though. I can't. I, I can't. What are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Oh, you're doing awful. I'm trying to stay on the road, but I'm failing. The, the beauty of this game is, it's like, okay, I can either risk this right now and try get even further than I am, or or, or fail miserably. Oh my god, what are you doing? Okay, I'm not waiting anymore. <laughs> All right, let's do one more. Let's do track complexity: high, track length, long, and. Ultra difficulty. Do you want us to die? <laughs> like let's, actually? Let's try see how difficult they're gonna be. Okay, let's go with. Have a, I don't think any of us have been green, so let's go with that. It's all about shortcuts. Actually, it's all about shortcuts. Because it was all caps. Thank you. Race, 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 race. Oh, okay. The everyone jump. Oh. Oh, man. oh my god. They know what they're doing. Ooh, I shouldn't have taken this really long turn. Yeah, oh. especially with uh, higher track complexities, I guess. You should be skipping much more because there's a lot more twists and turns. Oh, that shortcut was nice. Oh my god, that bounce height I got. This road is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, come on. No, damn it, I failed. Oh, I almost got it. Oh, man, I got it. You got it? Oh, damn. Oh, you're first? Yeah. Good job. Not for long. You're an ultra player. Oh, yeah. that's that was a fail. Come on. No, come on! Okay, yes, 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 yes! No, Get it! No, no, no! no, 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 no. Okay, now nah, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Maybe not. Oh. Come on, buddy! Yeah! Oh the God. track it looks like a cobra sometimes to me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know the way it like opens up. Uh, yeah. I hope I got a checkpoint recently. Oh, I'm screwed there. Okay, I'm gonna just respawn. Like a tapeworm or something. I'm eighth. Why am I eighth? And you're first? <laughs> I guess I'm better in high higher difficulty somehow. No. Oh yeah. Oh man, this is nuts. I can't imagine this one. <laughs> uh, oh my god, this is gonna take forever by the way because I chose the long track. <laughs> Alright, let's check out time gate mode. There's a leaderboard by the way for people who are into that stuff. Uh, let's go with this level. So I mean there's different leaderboards for different things. Um are they set tracks? I'm not sure because they look quite uh, random. I'm not sure if they're kind of uh, generated each time or not. Alright, so this is the time gate mode. As you can see, I've got a timer in the top right corner. And uh, basically, you just need to get to the 10th gate. As you can see, it's a time gate at 10. So, uh, and the number that's going up right now is just telling me, look, you went last went through the 7th gate. So if I skip this next one, for example, and then go to the next one, it'll be uh, changed to number 10. Anyway, so yeah, you basically constantly extend your time and you try to survive as long as possible before it gets to zero. Very simple stuff. Uh, the only thing is I wish I could play this multiplayer because, I mean, that's kind of where the fun is in racing games. Um, it would be cool, I don't know, like, you, you constantly both have to try extend your time, and especially because this game mode forces you to stay more on the track, I think it'd be kind of fun, you kind of, uh, fight for the, for staying on the track and not being pushed off. And there's also another game mode called Survival, I will show that to you a tiny bit later on. I also wish that was a bit multiplayer, it's just basically no respawns at all, and you try to survive as long as possible. By the way, this is the PC version of the game, so as you can see the graphics look very nice. Uh, and you actually have a very, very decent uh, graphics options to kind of select and, and toggle around. Um, my only problem is the PC controls are kind of lacking. There's no mouse support on the main menu, which can be quite frustrating. And also, uh, you can't rebind the controls. I mean, okay, the controls are very simple. It's left and right to move and shift to boost. You don't really need to rebind that. It's, it's fine as it is. Uh, but the main menu kind of gets a bit annoying. Like, sometimes you have to select something with spacebar, and sometimes you have to select something start with, a, uh, with enter. So, I don't know, I hope this sorts a bit of some of that stuff out a bit, and uh, I can't speak. Come on, let's... I wanna finish this! How long does this go for? Does this go on forever? I'm not entirely sure. It might be like survival, but you respawn, except you just have to worry about a timer. Because the track seems to be quite infinite. I'm not sure. Alright, so this is the survival mode, very self-explanatory, you just don't respawn, and uh, you try to go as far as possible. It's quite fun, actually. I think my top score is 73 or something like that. Uh, there is going to be a career mode, by the way. I think it's going to be just single player. Uh, don't quote me on that, though. And there's going to be, I think, just, it's going to teach you kind of how to get better at the game constantly. Uh, probably there will be tracks with increasing difficulty, or the AI will have uh, higher difficulties. Come on, you can make it! Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. And I failed. Okay, let's try that again. Oh my god, okay, let's not fail this time. Come on, one last thing to do. 
is survive. Shit, I'm failing already. Okay, wait, 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 we got this. Okay, it's fine. I need to try and... Uh, right now, I'm not actually increasing my high score because I'm not going through any gates. I'm going quite far. There you go, and I went up to 21. Damn, I skipped a lot of gates. Oh, and I just realized they also give me boosts, so I should try to collect those if I want to go as far as possible. Come on, we can do this, man. I don't know who I'm pump talking to. I am I talking to this ball? This ball is very far from being a man. Alright, so we're gonna do one last local race to finish the video off. Track complexity high, short length, and ultra difficulty. So it's not gonna be super long like we did last time. We can actually end it for once. Uh, man, I wanna try this four players one day. I wonder if one this is gonna go like the TF2 route and you're gonna have top hats and stuff on your ball. <laughs> that would be very ridiculous. Oh man, or mustaches and stuff. <laughs> There's an idea for you, Dev, if you want to go that way. I'd, I'd rather you don't, though. There should be a skin that makes them look like the portal cores or something. The portal cores? Oh, right, like Wheatley and all? Yeah, <laughs> that would be they're funny. perfect for Dev. Yeah, that would be kind of funny. But I I'd rather you don't do that. It yeah. It's very cool as it is in stylized. Oh, man, this game is awesome. Uh, I just, just to finalize, the music is cool, by the way. I want to let you listen to that first for a second. This is very, um, I don't know, it, it, it is quite generic, but it's actually, I don't know, it just pumps you up, it's, it does its job perfectly. And uh, the graphics look great, especially the fact that you can actually customize them on PC, I'm very happy that they did that. Uh, but yeah, it's just such a stylized game, I mean, look at the way the orange light is kind of just reflecting off the metal parts on my on my ball. It's, it's so cool, and, and I love the way this, like, kind of futuristic, I love the spinning bit in the middle. It just, it looks like a great, it looks like a great game, seriously. And the gameplay is very fun, I love that it rewards you for cheating, although it's not really cheating, it's part of the game. Uh, it just feels awesome to kind of go super fast. It's very well balanced as strategy. I'm just hoping that the character handling differences won't kind of screw with the handling, uh, with the balance, I mean. I am screwed, I screwed myself, Simmy! I've been screwing myself this whole time. <laughs> oh. oh man. Look where I, I feel like I'm still at the beginning or something. Oh god, how close are we to the end? We are doing awful. Okay, you have no excuse though. I was actually trying to like commentate and explain the game and <laughs> give my thoughts and stuff. You were just playing. Yeah, well... Hey, oh at well. least you won once or you were doing well on the hardest difficulty. So like people can't say that you're shitty, right? Yeah, yeah. At least. This level looks like a tire, by the way. I'm really curious though if this is uh, randomly generated or not, these tracks. Because I think it is. I mean, it must be, right? Unless the dev created separate uh, tracks for like this color depending on the complexity and the length and stuff I feel like that that's a bit that sounds too complex. I feel like there's no point he and they could have just made it uh, randomly generated anyway check out the link in the description to buy the game on Steam if you do like the look of it and please don't forget to like and share the video if you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time goodbye I love you